The Natural Scrolls got a pretty bad rap since launch, uh, but today we're going to be highlighting the three main reasons and three main people why the Natural Scroll actually was a good update. Let's get right into it. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you want to like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel so you stay up to date on all of our new videos as well as our live streams. As we mentioned, today we're going to be talking about the Naturalist role. And as we stated before the intro, it's got a bad rap. It probably mainly is due to, you know, to crazy Harriet always spraying everybody. And uh, how she always thinks it's, everyone thinks it's a, a photography role, but there's so much more that the natural troll actually offers. We're going to be looking at it as a whole and why it actually was a good update. The main reason is this is the three main people you actually can interact with in conjunction with the role. And yes, there are three. First, we'll talk about Harriet. Now, Harriet is crazy, right? But she is the main person that you interact with with the naturalist role. Uh, you could do lots of different things with hair. You can make money by selling samples to her. You can make money by selling complete stamped sets. And uh, if you guys want more information on to make sure you're making the most money by selling sets, make sure to check out the video linked up above me here right now because uh, there is a couple tricks that you can do to make sure you're not losing any samples when you're selling those sets. She also added new tonics to the game. There's the blending tonic, which allows you to get super close, I mean super close to animals which is pretty cool. There's the legendary pheromones. There's also some weight loss and weight gain tonics, which got added, which if you're into PVP and you want to change up your stats and gain weight all the way, or make it so you can run around really fast with, with good stamina by lowering your weight, you can use these tonics to quickly change yourself up and all, all around that way. She also added the sighting missions, which are fantastic addition to the game because uh, we all love the legendary animals, and if you just want to do one quickly, you can go to Harriet and get these sighting missions done and just jump right into one of the missions that she offers during that time. And you could either sedate it and bring that back to her for a little bit of cash. You could sedate it and use those to get a stamp in your set. And if you guys can hear that, Dakota, stop squeaking your squeaky toy. He was taking a nap earlier. If you guys didn't know, we do have Dakota here now. Our amazing new little Springer puppy. He always is on stream, so make sure you guys are watching for those. But he's... Hey! Squit, quit squeaking! <laughs> Let's get back to what we were talking about. We have the sighting missions, which are fantastic. We should get some more of those as well. Uh, we are waiting for three more legendary species to be added to the game. Those will include two free roam missions and one sighting mission. So we should get three more sighting missions for those, as well as we should get a sighting mission for the buck. So we should have another total of four being added to the game to allow you to do tons of different things with those. We're gonna talk about more things you can do with those uh, coming up next as well. Of course, the next person that got added to the game, which is part of the naturalist update. I mean, if you don't have the naturalist role, you cannot talk to Gus. And Gus is the trapper in the game now. He sells goods, buys goods, crafts goods. I mean, you, you could actually sell him pretty much anything like you can a butcher. Of course, he does pay you fairly well for legendary animals and such like that. And uh, then once you sell him some stuff, you can use that to craft some pretty cool new items. It gives you the ability to, or gives Rockstar the ability in the future to actually add more clothing and items to the game in another aspect other than the catalog. So that's a good thing. Gus is a great option for that. And also he has these trinkets. Now these trinkets are pretty cool. The ones we got right now are, are okay. There's a couple of okay good ones in the game. Uh, they work out fairly well. You just need an animal part and a collectible, uh, which are kind of hard to get right now. I've been looking for one of the Amethyst necklace, I think forever now to make one of the trinkets. But this gives Rockstar an option to be able to add more of these trinkets in the game. One good thing about these trinkets is they never will cost gold. I'm pretty positive about that because they do add a enhancement to the game or an advantage to the game. And Rockstar never lets you buy anything with gold because you can buy that with real money that enhances the game, like the ability cards. Now, I'd like, this, I'd like to see some more trinkets added to the game, and I think we probably will. Rockstar has mentioned in some of their newswires about the update and other information they gave about their future 
plans for the game that they're going to be adding more stuff. We should be able to see some more stuff from Gus. Uh, of course, we get new legendary garments from him every time a new legendary animal gets added to the game. I'm pretty sure we got just another regular clothing item for him as well over the last couple weeks. But I, I do think we will get some new trinkets and some new clothing added to him in the future. Some of the trinkets I'd like to see would be maybe... I, they, Maybe an addition to an ability card or something like that. It's the stack, that kind of stuff. Just some different things like that to see. Let me know down in the comments what kind of trinkets you guys would like to see. I know there are tons of them in story mode. They might not bring all of those over, or they might bring some stuff over that is completely separate. So let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys would like to see, some new trinkets in the game that uh, would enhance our gameplay that you would, you would certainly like. And as we mentioned before, yes, there are three people that, are, that use the naturalist rule fantastically. Fantastically, yeah. We got Harriet, we got Gus, they got Ada with the Naturalist roll. But then there's good old Crips, right? Everybody forgot about Crips? Now, nah, no one ever forgets about him because he doesn't shut up when you get to camp. About He talks about everything. But Crips is fantastic use of the Naturalist roll. Uh, the best, the, technically the best use of legendary animals, I think, to supplement your trader roll. You can sell legendary full carcasses or pelts to Gus and make some fairly good money. You can also sell those samples if you want to harry it and make some okay money. And I, I'd watch for bonuses as well. If if one week there's a bonus for selling stuff to Gus, maybe sell legendaries to him. If there's a bonus for selling samples to Harriet for legendary animals, maybe that week sell more to her. But if there isn't, I highly recommend just doing all these missions. And if you don't need to do a sample for some other reason, kill that sucker and throw it in your wagon and, and keep that thing stocked up for crits because Crips loves legendary animals. I mean, I, I think the, the, maybe the cougar and I know the bison is like 58 materials, 58 materials on a material bar. That's, that's worth, that's like four, I think four cougars, man. It's 58. I usually keep some bison in my wagon as well as some, some wolves from Harriet. I just go and do a whole bunch of Harriet missions and uh, skin those things and throw them in my uh, wagon. If I do find a legendary in free roam, I'll usually throw the whole carcass in my wagon. And that way, when you have to fill up crypts, it takes, like, at the most, two animals, usually. Two of those things you have in your wagon. And you can hold quite a lot. Because the wagon works for legendaries just like works regular animals. So if you do throw a full carcass in there, you can only hold five. That includes the legendary bison pelt, as well as the, I believe the alligator pelt as well, and the elk pelts because those are large items. But any other pelts, like the coyote pelts, the beaver pelts, uh, I think even the buck pelt, all that kind of stuff. We haven't got a buck from Harriet yet though, but we will in the future. Throw all those into your wagon and you can carry quite a lot and keep crypts pretty dang full. And uh, for a full video on that, I got it linked up now here that we've made that shows more on how to do that because it's fantastic. But it's the I think it's the best cross roll benefits in the game. There are other cross roll benefits for some others. Uh, I do the Moda Moonshiner uses the collector roll a bit to make some of the the premium moonshine, but you don't make too much money off of those. I mean they are 200 bucks every uh, hour or so, right? So they're not too bad. And also uh, the collector roll pulls into Gus as well to make some of the trinkets. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's I can't think off the top of my head if there's any other cross stuff between the rolls but using the legendary animals especially from Harriet that you get from the naturalist updates they're so easy to just go do non-stop yes you will get sprayed from Harriet every once in a while but it lasts like four or five minutes and you can just keep going through those and bringing that stuff to Crips is a fantastic cross roll to easily keep Crips going and get a trader delivery every day if you're playing and just uh, using that method so that, that's the three main reasons why I think that the Natural Scroll was a good update. You know, it's because of Harriet, Gus, and Crips. Those three people using the Naturalist Roll actually added tons of content to the game that we could use lots of different ways. You know, the, nat the missions from Harriet are fantastic. The new clothing and the, the ability for Rockstar to use Gus to even add more stuff to the game is fantastic. And then the ability that we can use these legendary animals to fill up crypts to keep the trader running because the trader is actually the only the, the the most money you can make in the game by the game just playing itself right you don't have to go grind and especially with these you don't have to do much at all 
the, the trader is always just making money for you, which is fantastic. Let me know, guys, if you guys have changed your mind or if you still hate this role. I know there's lots of other roles out there that we hope to get, and we probably will in the future. But if you look at the Natchez role as a whole right now and what we got with this update, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Let me know, guys, down in the comments your thoughts on uh, my opinion on the Natchez role. If you guys got something completely different, I'd like to hear it. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.